Hey guys, today's little guide is all about how you can tame your own Cinemacros Bondi. The Cinemacrops is a tiny dinosaur that actually existed. The Cinemacrops was voted with a user voting to be one of the exclusive dinos of the map Lost Island. And on Lost Island it's your perfect starter tame. To get a high level Cinemacrops it's really useful to have a low level Cinemacrops first. These usually just need a few feedings and will make taming the high level ones so much easier. Because the low level ones are good enough to get over obstacles. Here I'm going to show you the spawn map of the Cinemacrops so you can find them on Lost Island. For me the easiest way to find a low level one was looking at the beach in the north. But if you go into the forest first then it's even easier to tame a Cinemacrops because you also need chitin and you get chitin by killing insects in the forest. The Cinemacrops is known to be friendly but a little bit cautious about you. Once it tames there is nothing better for the Cinemacrops to be around you. He gets really clingy and he tries to protect you from every little insect and every little small dino that might attack you. Him being cautious is also why the taming method is the way it is. If you have spotted the Cinemacrops, then put the chitin on the zero slot of your hotbar and sneak close to him. If you're running towards him, he's just going to get spooked and fly away and then you're not going to get him anymore. Once he happily jumps towards you, you can feed him with a chitin. A low level Cinemacrops will need a low amount of feeding, sometimes even just one feeding, depending on your server settings. Be also aware that you are not allowed to wear chitin armor, because that will make the Cinemacrops aggressive towards you. Once you have spotted a high level Cinemacrops, the proceeding is just the same with the first feeding. But since he's not tamed after the first feeding, he will go into the next phase and that is fleeing from you. Ark added not a long time ago like this neat mechanic where you can track animals that you started taming and this will make it easy for us to find the Cinemacrops. When you follow him it's really important to think about not to run because run will spook him and then he will be gone and his taming will be reset. So if you're close to him try to sneak and use your low level Cinemacrops on your back to go over obstacles. If you're landing land a few meters away from him and then sneak towards him. If you see little hearts it means the Cinemacrops is very happy to see you and would love to have a little bit more chitin. Then either just stand still or sneak slowly towards him to feed him again. This will now continue until it's completely tamed. You have to consider a few things while this is going on. The Cinemacrops will lure you into corners of the map that have quite dangerous animals. So if you manage to clean the area before starting to tame that might be a good idea. Maybe your tribe member can help you with this. While the Cinemacrops are sitting on the ground and waiting for you to come close to feed him, he will not fight back when he gets attacked by animals. So never try to be too far away so the Cinemacrops doesn't die to a wild animal. Be careful because tribe members and also other players can spook the Cinemacrops away when you have started the taming. And if you see another player taming a Cinemacrops, try to stay away, at least in PvE. Once the high level Cinemacrops is tamed, he can replace the low level one on your back. If you press the R button very long, then the context menu for the shoulder animal for the shoulder pad will open. Here you activate the scream on the left side and then the option that it only screams when another animal Animal has aggro on the bottom. Otherwise the Cinemacrops will scream at every dodo he sees but will be in cooldown when a Pigomastax tries to steal your weapon. Your Cinemacrops is now going to be a stamina fired glider with a jetpack. That's why it's really important that you put as many levels into stamina as you can. Other options would be food and melee damage. Be careful you always need to have enough chitin in his inventory as food because otherwise it will just starve when you're using it. Next to his flying abilities his scream is also very helpful. If he sees insects he's going to scream and very often he even kills the insects with a scream. If he sees Pegomastax, Dilophosaurus, Microraptors or other small dinos that can get aggressive towards you he will scream hurt them a little bit with it and scares them so they run away and leave you alone. I hope this little guide on how to tame the Cinemacrops helped you to tame one for yourself. 
it's really worth it and they're not very handy but they're also very cute and on top they are breedable and the babies are even cuter if you like videos like this please leave a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing otherwise i hope i see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful evening bye